In 1909, the world was changed forever when the youngest and one of the most decorated generals in the British Army resigned his commission to form the largest and most successful youth organization on earth. While others talk of world peace, here's someone who actually did something to achieve it. Lord Robert Stevenson Smythe Baden-Powell, a British war hero, became known as the Pied Piper of Peace, and on my honor is his story. In 1958, the most successful and well-known movie producer in Hollywood was Cecil B. DeMille. Following the incredible success of his epic film, The Ten Commandments, he announced that his next movie would chronicle the exciting military adventures of Lord Robert Baden-Powell and dramatically portray how, at the suggestion of the King of England, BP left military service for a higher calling in starting the worldwide scouting movement. But DeMille died in early 1959, and unfortunately his movie died with him. And now, as scouting begins its second century and the world movement sets its goal to reach over 100 million scouts and guides, the power and impact of a new major motion picture, inspired by DeMille, is poised to bring to the screen this amazing story of scouting's founder and the reasons why he renounced war to become a man of peace. It is intended that a film be made to tell basically the story of his life which gave him the impetus to start what is now known as the scout movement right throughout the world. He just conceived this idea that he could in fact bring about in this world something quite unique and what the world has needed for a long time, that is world peace. Oscar-winning producer Gerald Mullen and American Eagle Scout and longtime scouter Robert Starling will assemble an A-list production team and a star-studded cast to create a blockbuster movie reminiscent of some of Hollywood's finest moments. Come on, man! But they'll never take our freedom! As this epic adventure film is shown worldwide, the values and ideals of scouting will be retold in the life of its founder, Baden-Powell. Hundreds of millions of people will be introduced to the movement that has created messengers of peace in over 150 nations. The benefits to scouting and to each country's national scouting organizations will be enormous. In 1908, only one year after Brown Sea Island, a British silent movie about scouts helped to popularize the new movement. In other motion pictures where scouting has been portrayed in a positive light, the public relations value has been incredible. I learned it in the Boy Scouts. You were a Boy Scout? Mm -hmm. So was I. Really? Yes, I had 19 married batches. Uh, I had 20. Oh, I was working on my 20th when the government abolished scouting and sent me <laughs> into the Hitler Youth instead. This reminds me of the rainforest in New Zealand. I earned my wilderness merit badge there. You were a Boy Scout, sir? I was an Eagle Scout. Huh. So was I. Uh, look, Miss Warfield, Clark is the oldest living Boy Scout, okay? He's, he's trustworthy, he's helpful, he's loyal, he's obedient. He... The producers also plan to distribute the film in such a way that local Scout units can share not only in the intangible benefits, but the financial rewards as well. Join us in bringing to the screen the adventure story of Scouting's founder, Lord Robert Baden-Powell, and help Scouting move forward with even greater impact into the 21st century. If the world was like a jamboree, there would be peace everywhere. Thank you all. Good luck to you.
and I wish we may meet again.